All right, so today we're going to be learning about hatching, cross hatching, and stippling. We're going to start by drawing a seven inch line. Then I'm going to make a mark at every inch. Then it's going to be an inch tall. I'm making a rectangle, it's seven inches long and one inch tall. And then I'm dividing it at every inch. So I have a row of seven boxes and each of the boxes is one inch by one inch. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of space and then I'm going to do the same thing. So it's going to be a row of seven boxes and each box is going to be one inch by one inch. So I'll draw a seven inch line, make a mark at every inch, make a one inch line for the height, make another seven inch line for the bottom, and then draw a line at every inch to divide it up into these squares. And then I'm going to leave another gap and I'm going to do a third one. Same thing, seven inch line, then make a mark at every inch, one inch tall, seven inches across, and then divide it with a line at every inch. So these three are going to be value scales. So our first value scale will be for hatching, we'll use pen. Second value scale will be for cross hatching, and again we'll use pen. And the third one will be for stippling, which we will use marker. So I'm going to get a separate sheet, and this is going to be my practice sheet. So first I'm going to start by practicing hatching. So hatching is a way that you create different values and shading with pen by just drawing a bunch of parallel lines. And the further the lines are apart, the more space that is between the lines, the lighter the value is. And then the closer together the lines are and the more lines there are, the darker the value would be. So I'm just practicing trying to create a bunch of different values, light, medium, and dark, just by controlling the line spacing. So now that I've had a bit of practice, I'm going to go to my value scale. So my value scale is going to go from lightest to darkest. So I'm going to start on my light side and I'm leaving really big gaps in between each line. And then as I move down my value scale, I'm adding more lines and the lines are getting closer together so that the value gets darker. Moving on to cross hatching again, I'm going to get out a separate sheet of paper to practice on first. So this is my cross hatching practice sheet. So cross hatching is similar to hatching in that you use lines, but instead of with hatching where you just have parallel lines, with cross hatching you have lines that cross over each other perpendicularly. So you have lines crossing over each other like this. But again, like with hatching. The more spaced out my lines are and the less lines there are, the lighter the value will be. And then once I add more lines and there's you know, less of a gap between the lines, the darker the value would be. So now going to my value scale. Again, I start with the lightest value on the end, so I'm only doing a few lines in my lightest square. And then as I move down, I'm adding more lines that get closer and closer together. And the closer they get, the more lines there are, the more they overlap the darker the value will get.
Now our third shading method is stippling, which uses dots instead of lines. And for this we're going to use marker instead of pen. So with stippling it's the same concept but with dots instead of lines. So the further um, the dots are spaced apart, the lighter the value is, but then once you get more and more dots and they get closer and closer together, the darker the value is. So I'm just going to practice creating different values just by controlling the amount of dots and the spacing between the dots. Now that I've had a bit of practice, going back to my value scale, again, on the left I start really light, so there's big gaps between all the dots. Then as I move down the scale in each box, I add more and more dots and they get closer together so that the value is darker with each step that we move down the scale. That's it.